Good morning, guys. It is a Friday morning, and I am so excited that it is Friday. Like, you have no idea how excited I am that it is Friday. Because on Fridays, work is good. Everybody's in a pretty even keel mood. And that means that I have time to get ready to spend with my husband on the weekends. So I'm very excited about um, about today. It's Friday. So anyway, I just wanted to come to you guys this morning and encourage you guys. You know, I have um, finally got to a point where I have a set time of prayer and worship and reading the word, um, you know, in the presence of God. And let me tell you, this week alone has been one of the most incredible weeks of learning and just the outpouring of the wisdom of God. I mean, it's just been so great. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to find a quiet place, find you some time to spend with your father, um, to spend with the person that created you, to spend with the person that loves you unconditionally, regardless of how much you love him or don't love him, of how much you believe him or you don't believe in him. You know, the person that gives you your life, your health, and your strength. The one that just blesses you above all, anything that you can ask or think. The Bible says that, that he is able to do um, exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. So, you know, be encouraged in the fact that God is real and that he's looking out for you and that Jesus is on the right hand of the Father interceding on your behalf that, you know, even when you slip and you stumble and you fall that you have somebody that is interceding for you on your behalf so that you don't have to burn up and go to hell. You feel me? So anyway, I'm out here again being kind to the peoples on the screen. Oh Jesus, give me some, give me some scrimp, Lord. I need some scrimp. So anyway, y'all, I just wanted to encourage y'all and let y'all know that God is awesome and He's just doing so much in my life and He's just doing so much in general. He's doing so much in the body of Christ. He's doing so much in your life and everybody you know's life. So just keep Him lifted up. You know, keep them important in your life. And if you don't have a relationship with um with, with Jesus, I encourage you to get you a relationship with Jesus. Just sit down and read the word and allow the word to begin to work on you. I heard a pastor say that you should start in Matthew. Start in Matthew and begin to break the word down. If, you know, you don't really believe or you're not really sure or why you should believe in God, but start in Matthew and start going on back and read about the life of Jesus. Read about the different encounters and miracles that he did and that kind of thing. Oh, and two, if you ever get a chance in your area to hear Pastor Chip Ingram, tune in because he is the bomb diggity. So anyway, good morning, good evening, and I will talk to y'all soon.